Hey residents of Meeple Town, today we are looking at Las Vegas Royale, where we are going to be going to a casino and gambling and taking all the money from the casinos. And from you. Alright, let's get to the table and check out Las Vegas Royale. Alright Meeple Town, we are ready to gamble in some casinos. So, the first thing I'm going to do is whenever you're playing a two-player game, we have a third set of die that we are going to roll to make it a whole lot more interesting. So, I'm going to roll them. Roll it up, be good And for me. the way that this works is every time we're playing this game, we're going to actually bring together the numbers. So here's all the ones, and they're going to go into the one casino here. The sixes are going to go here. Now this is it called the Biggie Dice, which is part of the expansion, which counts as two. Biggie, Biggie, Biggie. So if you've played the original and haven't played that, we have a Biggie Dice. And um, so we've done this to go ahead, and this is going to be a mock third player. The way this game is played is we're really, it's pretty simple. We're going to be chucking dice, we're going to divide them up like I just did right there, and then we're going to only pick one number and put those number into whichever casino. At the end of the round, whoever has the most dice, again, the biggie counts as two. At the, whoever, who I can't even talk, Dini, no, what's going I? on? Whoever has the most die in each casino is going to get the highest dollar amount. That's a big one right there. Double hundred that hundos. Hundos. Um, and whoever has the second highest gets this. And there can be no ties. And another part of the expansion we'll talk about as we play, I think, is these little uh, extra little casino things going on over here. So, since I uh, explained it a little, All I'm right. going first. You can go first. You Actually, win. going first is not good in this. You go first. Oh. <laughs> go <laughs> first, sucker. I always go first, right? Here we go. All right, so what I would like is sixes. <laughs> I'll group them together for you. <laughs> what I did not get. Well, there's three there, though. It'd I know. be hard to beat that person. It's hard to beat it, but getting second place is just as good as getting first there. So So as he's deciding, if he puts it in the third, second, or first casino, he will um, activate one of these other things that he can do. He may not do that. I think what I would like to do is win that two spot over there which would be nice to get the 70 and i could put a a die in here to get some extra money but what i'm going to do is take my five here to take first place for the over that five 90. spot you over that 90. 90. all That's right right. <laughs> right on okay booyah look at those threes all right that's a so i think roll. I don't think I'm it's an. I do not think <laughs> no, it's an awful kidding. roll. No, it's not. It's not. We're not I, getting sixes though. It would be nice. No, to no, no. It's that. okay because there's a ninety over here. So oh, I'm gonna put yeah. it. That's. Yeah. What, and I thought you might do that last round, but so uh, now I have three die in here because again the biggie counts as two. I activate lucky punch, and now that lucky punch is activated, I'm gonna take these three chits. I'm gonna put them under the table, and I am going to put one, two, or three in the palm of my hand. And then I have to guess, if I'm correct, he gets nothing. All if he's right. incorrect, I get it all. All the money in the game. All That's... the money or all the uh. chips. So if there's one in my hand, I get two chips. If there's two in my hand, I get 30000 If there's four in my hand, I get 40000 All right. What I think you have is I'm nervous. Two. Oh yeah, uh, forty thousand, baby. I was about to go say, big or go home. John's pretty yeah, greedy. Yeah, yeah, He'll yeah. Go three. I went greedy, baby. <laughs> let me get. Let me go ahead and get my forty thousand. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, that's a good spot. I forget about that spot sometimes. I it's, just got this I locked into that ninety over here. There you go. Let's do this. All right, Vegas so, style. Uh, John's gonna take his dice out of there, and I'm gonna roll and see what I get. All right, that's actually kind of what I wanted. I was hoping to he wants some sixes. be able to get those sixes. Now here's the thing, there's other really, really good things that I could take though. I could drop a two in here and then put my six here to be able to get 60,000, yeah. which would be really nice. If I don't kick you out. If he doesn't kick me out, which could, yeah, which is. But then if you six got kicked out, it would go to that, which wouldn't be awful either. Well, that's true. But I do have two, which is kind of what I wanted. So I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to take my sixes and put them here and hope for the best that John doesn't tie that to negate my sixes that I have there. Or roll we'll see four sixes. We'll see. Yeah, you never yeah. know. All One right. thing we haven't discussed is. In this game, we actually get two of these uh, poker chips, and if we don't ever like our roll, we can pass our turn by giving these up. However, they're worth ten thousand dollars a piece at the end of the game. So, and at the end of at the beginning, excuse me, of each round, we get two more. 
Booyah! Dang it. Ooh. I don't like how I didn't get... So I have four... Mm. I could go ahead and combat him a little here. Man, I don't like how there's only 30,000 there. Yeah. But I still could get some monies. I don't like that roll, Dean. It's tough. I could fight you here because you've got 100,000. That is true. Yeah. yeah. And at least negate you from getting it potentially. That's true. So now I'm going to have to probably put more sixes in there if I can get them, which I did not. So yes. now I could put three twos up there, which would there would be a really good chance that I would get that 70 at that point. Plus I could put one of my, uh, either my one in here to get a chip or my four to be able to get potentially 40,000. And let's see, but that's a lot of dice to put in one spot to guarantee that. So I think what I'm going to do. And as we've noticed, you do, I don't know if we've mentioned, I think we did, but you do have to put all the dice oh, right, that right. number into the, so he couldn't choose to put one number two in the casino. He has to put all three if he decides to do that. I'd really like to do that. But one thing, kind of a strategy of this game is you do want to try to slow play if you can, um, so that you're not just putting all of your dice out there because once you're done with your dice, they're still playing, so I'll just drop that down there and maybe get something. Got that six, baby. Mm -hmm. But I could take the lead here for a hundred thousand too. Oh, I'm doing that. Who cares? Those are fives, my friend. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you could tie oh for the lead of this spot gosh. if you would like. I thought this was the five spot. <laughs> five or I don't, I look at point. I just said five and pointed at six. I, I will say that what's happening right before now. Before we get to our final thoughts, if counting is difficult for you, this game is not for you. Probably. <laughs> I'm so. struggling. I'm struggling. Um. Wow. Wow. There's a lot of options here. I'm gonna do. The I mean, six. there's three options, but there's. I'm gonna do the six. Uh, yeah, I thought you might do that. So now I'm gonna have to try to put another two sixes in there, which is gonna be a challenge. This one might just be negated, um, unless John. John has a. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Whoa. Dang it! Oh, here's the thing. I, then you would. I, then I, I also would like to put my four mm. here, but that would force John to have to put another one here. Otherwise, he's just wasted two because right now he's in last place. The good thing is, is I know that Green can't roll again, so all right. I need is one more six, and we get the same exact amount of money. So you tie. You tie with the. Uh, Oh, there's three! Yeah, that's it's three. a biggie! Mm -hmm. No! Oh, yeah. no! Oh, what? my goodness. Quite the challenging decisions in this what. game for just a dice roller. Yikes, I don't like this roll at all. At all. I could go to this two casino, but then we're going to be tied here, which means no one gets anything unless I roll another two. And you're only putting a one in those spots, which is kind mm. of a stinker. Getting, uh, the chips are really helpful, though. Um, it's it not tempts bad, me to spend. Get one. You know what I'm gonna do? When I go to this casino, I have the choice of putting this die into the nice dice. Oh right. So, yeah. but that's thirty thousand. If I could just or seventy. No, no, no. I'm leaving it there, and I don't have to do that. It's only ten thousand. I'm not gonna do it. Okay. All right, so I'll roll here, and that's actually what I was hoping for. I would, I was hoping that I would get a four so that I could break that tie right now. Now it doesn't mean that I'm for sure gonna get it, but Dang it. but it would be nice You're doing if John good. doesn't come back and get that one. Well, that's what I was. That was my. I was really hoping to get that one because you got a hundred thousand here. You take another hundo. That's not good. It ain't good at all. Not good. Give me, give me. Mm. Well, it guarantees the two spot for you if you want it. Plus, you can get 50 with your five. I know. But then I'm giving you two hundo, but that would be still 120. It, it is funny in this game because it, it is, it's a dice roller. I'm going to give it to you. You see our difficult choices that we have to make in this. So it's There's not a just, lot of choices in this game. Yeah. Like it's, yeah. you could really get mathy on this and statistic y, I guess. That, that is is that a word? Statistic y? All right. Dang uh, it. Well,. Oh, that's not you, is it? That is, or that is you, but I would get the second place on I this one. I shouldn't have said anything. Yet. Just by placing that. <laughs> oh, I should have said Well, it didn't matter. I was going to place that there anyway. Oh, so we're going to so spend puts... 10000 to roll it again. <laughs> uh, I will take that, and then what I will do is take these, correct? Oh, boy. You are? You are that correct. That is correct. That is correct. All right. Billy Madison. Let's see. Chris Farley. All right. 
Go for it. Three. <laughs> yes! You know me well. Yes. <laughs> John knows that I I am so quite he gets the gambler nothing. He gets in nothing. all games. Well, yes. I actually thought I'm okay with you getting two. I'm okay with you getting 30, but I'm not okay with you getting 40. <laughs> so even if I don't get it right, at least you don't get the 40. I am always going to be greedy <laughs> and push my luck on these type of games. There so. we go. All right, so let's uh, go around here. So green gets the 100, which does it gets discarded because they have three. Dean gets that other hundo. In this, red is going to get the 90, which is Dean, and the NPC is going to get Not another. Not looking good for John Look at that, so man. Far. It's okay. There's three rounds in this game, okay? That is true. And then I'll take Nothing. the 100 in that one. So far, I'm at uh, 290,000 for John's 40,000. All right, so here I'm going to get the 90. And Dean still gets the 60. Oh, that's right, I do. I forgot. You are creaming me in this one, one man. <laughs> that's you are destroying me in I this. I don't right usually now. win this game because on um, those You don't usually win on video special, either. Those special casinos, I tend to um, the tables are turning. I, I tend to take too many risks on that. Uh, since my five is still here at the end of that round, I'll also get fifty for that as well. And, and this then, one thirty goes away because that's the NPC. There you go. So I got. I just. I'm just going to calculate. We're not going to do any more okay. rounds. You play three rounds of this. Also, these change each round. There are a bunch of these too. They're. Um. They have some on the other side. I think there's probably. I'm not 100 percent sure, but maybe like 12 casinos or no, oh, maybe even more than that. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that I'm looking off camera. I think there's 18 <laughs> casinos. Uh. Don't quote me on that. There's a lot. There's a bunch. There's a lot. So this is 160, and then I've got another 50, which is 210. I've got 250. Yeah, that's that's cute. What, what you got? <laughs> 300 and something? 350, which isn't, you know, in this game, because plus you play 20 three rounds. 20. Right, it's plus 20 for both I guys. got destroyed in that round. But tables can really turn in this game. You can get a lot of money. As you, as you see, this isn't normal in our games, at least, that I've played for me to get 350 in one one That's round. a lot in one round. That's right. All right, art and components, baby. What do you think? Yeah, the art is... Okay, the art's not my favorite, but I think that it's good art for this game. Mm -hmm. I'll say that. Kind of like a... You know, like Western Legends or... or those Western games have those really dull tones. It's not my favorite, but it makes sense because it's, it I like fits dull the theme. Tones. This one, you've got the you, neon you, sign. You speak in dull tones. I do. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Uh, but it's got the neon sign uh, lettering on there, which is kind of cool. I don't care for the art on, on these yeah. boards myself, but uh, but the components, I think, are fine. I, I love the dice tray. Yeah, it's nice. These chips are cool. I love how the dice tray is in the middle. It all fits nicely. All these... Just they fit in really well. Like they've actually, there's no bunch of wiggle room or anything weird like that. I really like the box. Yeah. Yep. But I don't really like this either. Like I get, like I agree with you 100%. Like it's just, it is what it is for what it is, but it's not really <clears throat> all that great. And these are just kind of some, it's kind of boring or bland ish icons. I'm guessing they kind of went for this to pop on the color in the middle and then it to kind of be a little bit, but it's, I mean, it's okay. The arts, um, I mean, overall, I like the box a lot, actually, because it just kind of stands out. Yeah. I think because it's a little different. It's just kind of... But besides that, it's pretty meh for me. And the components are fine, though. Yep. These cards are good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of it's all of it's fine. Better than paper money. Yep. Better than the original game, probably, for the components, if I had to guess. Well, <laughs> all right. gameplay time. All right, let's talk about the gameplay. I think this is a... This is a fun game. It's, it's you know... It's it's a dice chucker, but it's it's more than that because it's dice yeah. drafting. Dice drafting is the is the crux of this game, and it's kind of dice draft dice drafting at like its like simplest level, kind of. Although there, as you were watching, you saw that we had some really interesting tough decisions to make. But in those tough decisions, there's a lot of randomness, like the lucky punch. Do I want to go there? That's the tough decision. But then when it happens, it's it is random, but it's almost like a like deduction. Like you're deducing what kind of player they are, where what position that they're in, and so there's a lot of randomness slash deduction in that part. If you've watched Meeple Town at all, you know that I am not a fan of randomness yeah. at all, except when you're playing a <laughs> casino game, because that's what. I was talking to Dean about this before we recorded this. Like I was like, you know what? The one time I'm okay with randomness is when you're simulating a casino because that how, casinos are super random. So because of that, 
I don't take this game overly seriously, <laughs> and I just like to have fun. And, and I'll say that about gameplay. It's a lot of fun for me. It is. It is fun to chuck these dice. It's a fun to get in your opponent's head and go, okay, is Dean going to go for more sixes? He's talking it up like he is, but is he actually going to do it? Um, and then thinking through... Uh, I really like the, the the expansion parts where you have these extra parts of the casino. Without that, it would be kind of meh, I think, for me. Yeah, yeah. I played the original, which yeah. um, it, it's been years, but from what I remember, it's just this without these boards and without, and without the biggie, the biggie dice. Guy. Yeah. Um, and so that part, you know, that that's not really exciting for me. It wasn't very much fun. It's, it's just, fine, but it just kind of gets old fast. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There's not a lot that adds to it. So having those those expansion boards on the side really adds quite a bit. It really adds a lot. Like there's a lot of decisions, you know, we didn't do the black box, but here in the black box, if what happens is if someone divides these into two and they can do any combination they want and then someone picks and so if Dean did that and this, he flips it over to where I can't see that obviously. Mm -hmm. And then I, and then I pick one of the things and I get it. So if he did that, I could get 80,000 potentially, you know, he yeah. doesn't have to divide it up like that, but there's a lot of things where you're like, man, black, this casino doesn't have a lot of money, but if I got this and got 60,000, cause I know there's at least one 60,000, I've got a 50% chance of getting 60 more thousand dollars. Dang it, I should have done that maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that could have made the difference. <laughs> yeah, but like that's the, that kind of statistical math is fun for me in this game. And uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, yeah, that, I will say out of these three that are out there, um, I think that one's the, the, the blind eye split you choose is pretty fun. I think the lucky punch is probably my least favorite of those. I like it because it's, it's, it's just fine. It's just, it's, it's just a. I'm just, you go. I'm just bitter because I didn't get the money that I wanted. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm playing like paper, rock, scissors or something to win money. Like, um, you know, Vegas vacation when he goes into that like casino, that's all janky and stuff like that. Do you uh, remember it's that? Been a long and they're time. doing guess, remember. guess the number in my head and all that oh, kind right. of stuff. <laughs> that's what it feels like. How many do I have? I like it. So all right, let's get to our thoughts. final thoughts. Yeah. I, I'll start this one off. So, I, you know, I had okay memories of this game playing the base game thinking, it's okay, it's just not very fun and it would get old really fast. Um, and so when John told me that he has this, wanted to, to that, that we um, got a copy of this game as a review copy, I wasn't super excited, but the fact that John was made me more intrigued because I was like, this isn't his style of game. Um, but playing this, I really quite enjoy those. I think game. they're a lot of fun. It is. It's, um, I, I don't mind randomness as much in games, um, but I, I'm not as, I'm not as hype on this game, I think, as John, but I really quite enjoy it. I just think that it's, um, for me, it kind of gets, it gets old even with these boards because you're still doing the same thing, but with a larger group and the right group, this game is a lot of fun. So for me, I give this game a seven, which is good. It's a game that I'll, I'll play, but I'm not all, I'm not always going to suggest that we play this game, but I still think it's fun. So I'm not overly hype about it. <clears throat> I like it a little more than you. He gives um, it an 11. Let's crank it up to 11. Spinal tap, baby. There we go. Um, so I'm just going to go right in and say I give it seven and a half out of 10, uh, which means that it's a game that uh, I will suggest, um, yeah, what does seven mean exactly? <laughs> we were talking about it before the. I just had it pulled up before the video. Uh, I think I, I actually still listen. Have it I don't up. randomly just yell numbers, Maple Town. <laughs> we had actually talked about it before, and I'm trying to remember what the definition on BGG. For those who haven't been watching us, Maple Town, we like to use the BGG definition. So seven raised. is a good game, usually willing to play. Yep. Yep. And the eight is a very good game. I'd like to play. Probably, I'll suggest it. Never turned down. So you are somewhere. in between So I'm in between there. that because I um I will suggest it for sure, but there will be times where I'll turn it down because I like euro style games this is a uh, but i will say this if you listen to our last podcast um we did our favorite this made my top five hoot and holler games so if i'm looking for a game that's just pure fun chucking dice and doing things like this i really like this game so this is a uh, seven and a half it's fun all right, so seven and a half from John, seven from me. Tell people how they can get in touch with us. All right, if you're enjoying our channel, we would love for you to subscribe. Even click on that notification bell so you can know when we're coming out with new videos. We have a podcast, as I just mentioned, on iTunes, Spotify. Um, just look up Meeple Town um, or Meeple Town Games and you'll find our podcast. Just Google search. There's a lot of different avenues that you can listen to it through. We are on Instagram. Facebook and Twitter. Those are all at Meeple Town Games and we're Board Game Geek Guild 3407. Thanks for coming down to Meeple Town. Thanks for joining us and be sure to follow us on Twitter at Meeple Town Games 
and connect with us on the Meeple Town Guild, Guild number 3407, at BoardGameGeek.com. And also subscribe to our podcast and YouTube channel. And until next time, thanks for coming down to Meeple Town.